This step-by-step -step tutorial teaches you how to create a Pareto chart in Google Sheets quickly in a scalable and straightforward way. In this Pareto chart tutorial, as an example, we will build a Pareto chart in Google Sheets to highlight which products, among a range of products, generate most of the complaints. Our initial data is located in columns A and B of a sheet called raw data. We need to prepare and clean this raw data in a separate sheet that we call data preparation. To do so, we first build a three-column dataset. One column describes the causes. Here the product referenced by a number like product 1, product 2, product 3, etc. One column describes their absolute effect with a numerical value. Here the number of complaints about each product. Finally, another column describes the relative effect of each cause with a percentage value. Here the percent of the total complaints generated by one product. This dataset is generated automatically by a formula. The formula is located in cell B5 of the data preparation sheet. What does this formula do? It extracts, consolidates, and sorts the raw data the right way. In particular, it ensures that the data is sorted by effect ascending order. It also tailors the column's names using label. Feel free to change it your way in the formula to adjust the column's names to the context. You can copy-paste this Google Sheet formula from the description below, or simply download the free Pareto template on ParetoAnalysis.Tools. We now need to add a fourth column to the existing dataset, the cumulative percent column. Like the first three columns, this additional column is built automatically via a formula. You can copy-paste this formula from the description below. What does this formula do? Like the first formula, it generates the rights numbers and adjusts automatically to the size of your raw data. More precisely, it calculates each cause's cumulative effect. This is the sum of the cause's relative effect with the relative effects of all causes, having a greater effect. Finally, we hide the third column of the dataset, labeled here as percentage of total complaints. Why? Simply because we don't need this data in the Pareto chart. Now, it's time to select the three-column dataset to insert our Pareto chart in our Google Sheet. In the menu, select Insert, then Chart. The initial Pareto chart we get needs a bit of formatting. In the Chart Editor, under the right tab Customize, select Cumulative Percent under Series. Then select Right Axis under Axis. And that's it. Your Pareto chart is now completed. If you like this tutorial, use the Like button or visit our website ParetoAnalysis.Tools.